Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we managed to save Tor from the overlap after being taken by Cynthia Weaver. And he came to our mind place and basically confirmed that, you know, he is our grandfather. The Tor or the Anderson family are actually related, the Andersons and Saga. And he basically told the story of how, uh, you know, Saga's mother and father were you know, having a bit of a troubled marriage. Apparently Saga's father was a dick. Uh, he was a bastard. He was a complicated bastard. I have a theory or two about who Saga's father actually is. And uh, because of the broken marriage, basically Saga's mother didn't want anything to do with Tor and never talked about him to Saga. Not really. What has me questioning uh, this whole thing is... Are they actually related, or is it because of Alan Wake rewriting the story that they're actually related? No idea. So we just cleared the map after the uh, overlap flooding got pushed back. We cleared a bit of it. So, okay, full disclosure, this is the third time I'm recording this because, as luck would have it, I had a power flicker, not once but twice, corrupting both my save files. Uh, so, lucky me. L let's see if third time's the charm. I didn't progress in the story at all. What, we, what I managed to do is there's a boat yard uh, down here that uh, we still haven't cleared. So that's basically where I've gone. There is a rhyme there, a nursery rhyme, and quite a lot of enemies. So... We will be going through there. So one of the things I was talking about in uh, in the previous one of the previous videos was it's funny how bright falls there's a lot of shenanigans going on and a lot of people are actually oblivious to it which is crazy to me i mean i know there's the cult of the tree but you would think like a majority of the town yes, i'm pressing the button but it's not broadcasting This it's interesting that we get this here. Oh, it's right there. No, that's right. I need a red light here. Have you tried just mashing all these buttons? Oh, fast brace that. That's which button did you press? This one right here. No, that wasn't it. I'm gonna call Donna's grandson. Hello, Tapio. Sorry, I, I, I misdialed. No, you didn't. I was still on the line. Can we get Tapio off the line? I need to call Donna's grandson. Must be all this rain botching up your connection. If it keeps up, that bunker out back could flood again. A girl drowned in that bunker last time it flooded. No, no, that girl drowned in Cauldron Lake. Wrong. That was the Anderson girl. Different girl. Can we please Logan. focus on making the green light red? What about this button here with the sticky note that says on off? Yes, that's the one. Okay, let's press that and see if it... And he took himself off the air. Uh, yeah. So there's actually items to pick up around here, but I'm going to do this first. Because we're going to be seeing some combat. Five little monsters out on the sea, competing to see who the winner will be. They rocked their boats to find out who floats until one little monster did fall. Mama called out to the sea and cried, and the sea, she replied, on the bottom they will rot if they will not stop rocking their boats. So, here is the monster, and here is the mama. Yeah. 
so there's nothing down that way. This is where the fun starts. Jeez. That's the first time I died. Legit, that's the first time I died. You know what the best part is? These fuckers drop nothing. Okay, so I want to make sure I pick up everything around here before more people start spawning. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take that. Yeah, and the other thing that sucks is that I'm not able to go around that way now. I just realized. This is the first time I'm coming this way. Usually I go the long way around. Because the bolt cutters are on the other side. But that's okay. And another lunchbox. And manuscript page. Okay, I'm going to hold on to this manuscript page for now. Um, the woods were dark. I held my breath. I could hear heavy footsteps out among the trees. I was scared. My heart beat in my chest like a small bird fluttering against its cage. I shivered. I was cold, too. I saw a shape emerge from the trees. It was a menacing large shape. A bad shape. It looked at me with evil glowing eyes. I gasped. No, it had seen me. It growled and lurched towards me. I ran. I ran and ran and ran until running became too hard to do. I couldn't run anymore. So I stopped running. I could feel the monster's hot breath on my neck. I was too afraid to turn around. It was about to get me. I was a goner, for sure. I ran again. I'd never been so scared. Not ever. This was the end. I wish someone, anyone, would come to save me. I'll save you! Okay, so now I have to go this way around. Fuck. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You don't see me. So we actually came this way as Alan Wake. Um, 
after we got uh, attacked by the Cult of the Tree. So this is the way you're actually supposed to come around. So there's a Popo there. She does nothing. Um, there's nothing... Oh, might as well save here. You know what? Oh, I forgot to pick up the fucking box. The... The charm. Fuck. Okay, I'm going back around that way anyway. It doesn't... All it really does is, um... There's a chance that uh, they'll stagger when you shine a flashlight on. That's all it is. I don't even find it that useful. Hello. Hi. Uh, I think we've seen this one before. But there are manuscript pages. Which... I will read now. And that woman just keeps on banging on the door. No idea why. Alright, unread. Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea, something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. All right. The 81st annual Deer Fest was just around the corner. Everyone in Bright Falls was bustling. There were banners to be hung, pies baked, deer masks sold. Bright Falls had made the top 100 American small town lists for its modest rustic charm. The town expected a lot of tourists this year, but a shadow hung over the deer fest preparations. The forecast promised rain. Fearful whispers promised more murders. The police were on high alert. Sheriff Breaker had deputies patrolling the streets at night. Bright Falls was no stranger to odd happenings, but to cancel Deerfest? Out of the question. The townsfolk were anxious, their anticipation mixed with fear. People had restless dreams. The light seemed dimmer. Flood water pressed in on the town, and the shadows poured in with it. And last one. Rose receives a message. Rose woke up from another dream from her idol. Another message. All through her morning routine, she was humming happily. So happily, she realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero? Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero? Liked it? Rose nodded, determined. She'd use the knitwork to guide the hero to the secret stash as she had hid in the forest to help them. Knitwear to mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the knitwork. Rose thought hard. Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. Mandy May does help. Okay, so... Case board. Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him.
So I gotta get the clicker into Wake's hands and make him fix this ASAP, but he's still in FBC custody. Okay. So the lunch boxes, I have one here from Bright Falls. Another piece of fan fiction. Wonder where this is going. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> Uh, nursery rhymes. So Monster Doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. A monster with long blonde hair. I like it. Looks like we got one more to find. So Bright Falls. Is the moral of the story here to feed anyone who rings your doorbell? This was very odd. Yeah, that was in the last episode. So that's the one we just did. The cautionary rhyme about a child who fell out of a boat and drowned. Uh, near the shoreline. I'm not loving the depiction of a mom as a horrible beast with a pointy nose. Kids can be cruel, I guess. They sure can. So it looks like I'm missing one. So the ranger station we found, the boatyard we found, which means we're missing one from the woods. Cult stash. So Bright Falls. The known inside makes it sound like Wake is their next target. Found by the Ranger's cabin in the forest outside Bright Falls. The light the, the puzzle to open this one felt a little silly. Strange for a cult. And the note inside is pretty menacing. So the story, this one is still. I don't know why we've had these for so long and we still have it unlocked with their four. So note taking note instructing cults to take the rider out. The cult knows Wake is here, and they clearly aren't fans of his. And now that we've gotten more we've got eighteen. So I was looking at the the rifle one earlier. So consecutive successful hits will significantly reduce the time between shots. Eh. Stand still to enter an improved focus mode. This mode grants perfect accuracy, pulls shots towards weak enemy weak spots, and deals increased damage. Pretty good. And bullets penetrate the enemy's darkness shield, which is also pretty good. Because how many times have we actually come close to running out of batteries? That said... Kill shot, I think, is the best way to go. Because, I mean, the more efficient we are, the quicker we take them down, right? Um, let's see what else we had from the other ones. Deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Kill an enemy to restore health. The amount of restore health depends on the strength of the enemy. Okay. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Eh. Hold the fire button to draw the crossbow for increased damage and a straighter arc. And bullets lodged into enemies will track bullets fired near them. I mean, I guess this is also actually pretty useful. Because the other thing is, like, when it says bullets, is it mean specifically bullets, like, for the handgun? Or does it mean, like, ammo in general? You know, like, um... Like, uh, ammo for the shotgun or the rifle. Is rifle ammo called bullets? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Um, well, I could literally just look at my inventory and, and see. Well, I'd have to... That guy scared the shit out of me. It, it just says rifle ammo. So, if it says ammo, it probably means all bullets. You know what? I'm going to do this one. 
Saga had hit the Taken with the crossbow. She switched to her gun and kept firing at it. The bullets hit home, following a strange trajectory, as if the bolt had carved a track in the air for them. A magnetic pull for them to follow. Oh. I completely misunderstood what that was. Okay, I get it now. So if, as long as I shoot a bolt into someone, if I fire in their vicinity, it'll basically arc towards them and hit them. What I, what I thought was like, um, if you've like been firing shots around them and then you hit them, any shots that you miss will attract bullets to them and you can just repick them up again. That's what I thought it meant. Uh, I mean, it's less interesting to me now, but I mean, whatever, it's all good. How many of these do we have left? We can't have many left. We've done quite a bit. Okay, anyways, let's let's keep going. You can just keep banging away at that door. As much as you like. So there is a cult stash here as well. Another cult stash? Yeah, yeah, baby. Fear the dark. Fear the woods. And of course, now, I have no place to put the charm that I pick up. You know, let me put the other charms away first, because I'm not going to be using those. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Please don't spawn. Fuck, they did spawn. It's right there. It's right there. Okay, move. There. They can't get past here. So, they could fuck right off. others to clean up after them oh yeah I can see you're hard at work they think they're so mysterious they're ridiculous masks children in costumes so yeah I was saying before like it's it's funny that no one like the the main uh, like the majority of the population doesn't realize that shit's going on they're completely oblivious Which is just so funny to me. Oh, 
Okay, where was this stash? Oh, it's there. In here? Oh, in here. Another cult box. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Well, at least the fishes are biting again. I didn't like all that hubbub earlier. Poor things. Poor things. Is that it? No, it's too far. I can't see anything. It's got to be one with numbers on it. Or something. Get up there? Nope. Coffee world. Let me look at it one more time. So it's three poles tied together. And are these numbers or symbols? They're numbers. You know what? I'm gonna. Okay, it, it does say one, two, three. I was gonna be like, is is the combination one, two, three? So it's gotta be back here, maybe. Or wait a minute, is it these signs that say like six and then nine? It's just the position of the poles where they are. Six looks like it's pretty high up. Nine looks like it's lower. So six, nine, and then we need to find another one with a number. Or I could just guess the last number. I mean, I hate doing that, but it's, it's a valid strategy. And I don't want to spend half the episode running around. So six, nine. Six, nine, seven. If you steal from the cult, the cult will come for you. Oh, a fanny pack. Bro. I mean, it is nice, but you're not taking pictures of it. Are you, are you okay, bro? He's, he's special. He's all right. He's okay. Uh, and then there should be another one further down. Uh, I, I used you. I used the bolt cutters. Did I not? Um, lock door. Screwdriver. <gasps> okay, so cult stash through here. I think I noticed this area earlier. Another locked box. Hmm. Oh, wow. 
January 1st, privileged town hall folks complaining about poor TV reception. Hopefully not due to the paint job. Eh? January 17th, took a photo with a giant moose statue in the park. Great memento. February 2nd, damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. February 31st. That don't make no sense. Parks trash can needed... Park trash can needed fresh paint, a fresh coat of paint. Painted an extra layer. March 3rd. Tried painting the large tree in the park, but the weather was too hot. Cooled down on a bench in the sheltered area and had an epiphany. 26th of March. Replaced the screw on the purple park bench. So is it 312? Oh. Took a photo with a giant moose statue in the park. So they're all in the park. I just need to find the... The, uh... The symbols. Sabra. She wouldn't just wander off and not tell us. Especially after all the weirdness at the lodge. I'm worried, Jules. Well, I'm fucking worried, too. Okay. One of us needs to stay at the lodge in case Marcy shows up. And the other one should go out looking for her. If we canvass the woods, we're sure to find some tracks or something. Some hints to her whereabouts. We can even use some of our equipment. This is not the time to geek out over the stupid gear, Riley. It's all toys anyway. I'm guessing that's why that woman was banging on the door in the in the lodge they're looking for their friend it's like wake up are you in there lots of charms lying around here charms you remember how it went last time the sacrifices we made the pain it's happening again oh these charms So, double triangle pointing up. There's another lunchbox. You wouldn't believe how hard it was to track down these lunchboxes. Thank goodness for the internet. Thank goodness. Uh, okay, elevator button sideways. And then the moose statue. Mentioned a moose statue. Oh, purple bench. Is there a purple bench? No purple bench. Okay. I have something to go on, and once again, I will be guessing the last one. There's finally someone here. So what do you think that whole thing at the lodge was about? I don't think. It's better not to get mixed up with that bunch. Ah, so you do know something after all. You know, I bet that biker gang from the next town over had something to do with what went on at the lodge. Rowdy folks, rowdy habits. I wouldn't put it past them. Watery definitely has that kind of a rep. So meet Mayor Setter in uh, Somi Hall in Watery. I, I can't even read that on the side. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. We'll we'll get on with the story soon. I just want to clear out as much of this stuff as possible. Um, let me check the diner here first since I'm here. Hey, 
Hey bro, I found you. I was wondering where you were. I feel you, bro. You keep rocking, bro. You keep rocking. Screwdriver. Is this breaking and entering? Yes, yes it is. And I'm so happy to do it. FBI. The fuck? Dear Diary, Alan contacted me again today. There was a message for me hidden in the newspaper. He wanted to make sure I was ready for his arrival. What a silly thing to even ask. Of course I'm ready. Duh, Alan. Oh, and Norman got into the dried apricots at work again. I swear we'll have to fumigate the place. Dear Diary, some guy at the diner got mad that I brought him a piece of cherry pie and demanded a free piece of apple, but he totally ordered cherry. And when I pointed out that he already took like two bites of the cherry, he said he thought it was apple. Apple pie and cherry pie do not look the same. Is this a reference to Twin Peaks? It's been a while, but I I, I remember that the 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 FBI guy, he was into a pie. I forget if it was cherry or apple. I, I completely forget. Oops. But I, I, I think that's a reference to that. I told him he could order another piece, but he'd have to pay for it. He got so mad and started screaming about me leaving him about leaving me a bad review. Like, I care about reviews. Anyway, I took his pie and told him babies shouldn't be eating sweets. He shouted a bit, then left. Some people. Dear Diary, Cynthia has been acting up lately. I think she's turning into a you-know-what. A uh, you-know-what, you know? Lots of you-know-what's popping up lately. I'll keep an eye on it. Things get out of hand, can always get out the rifle. I'm sure Alan would appreciate me keeping the place safe. Yep. Absolutely. So we came here just for that. There's nothing else. Seriously? Okay. I think your twin is over there dancing, bro. Are you even eating that burger? Are you, are you kissing the burger? <laughs> are you are you about to like make love to that burger? <laughs> All right, bro. He looks like an alien that's like, uh, I'm 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 who man? I I can eat. Alright. Uh, fuck, what were the symbols again? So we had the two facing up, and we had the sideways elevator buttons. Okay, this should be it. There we go. Monsters live in the woods. They sure do, buddy. They sure do. So that was a locked door. Okay. Let's head to our mind place and just uh, finish up this shit. What? Lunchbox. Bright Falls. Oh, I'm missing two. This one was just left out in the park for anyone to find.
Uh, Bright Falls. Hiding in plain sight, surrounded by those twig triangles, too. Pretty menacing note inside. The cult stash was in the street. Literally just out in the street. That's the thing, like, how does no one notice this? They see, like, the triangle signs everywhere, and they're like, Oh, it must be graffiti. Local kids playing stupid pranks. Like, come on, man. And the story, everything is still... Yeah. Okay. And, unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop it there for this episode. I know we want to get to the sheriff station. It will happen first thing next episode. I promise. At the very least, we kind of cleared out the Bright Falls area. I know we still have a few things laying around. I think we still got a couple of st uh, cult stashes and nursery rhymes and all that shit. At, at some point, we'll get to it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.